Hi, this is Gina with Two Becoming One. We have some special guests on our show today, Sam and Jabari. Yay! <laughs> we had the opportunity to meet them about a year and a half ago, I believe. And um, I'm going to let them tell you a little something about them. But we had the privilege, my husband and I, in counseling with them. So I'm going to let you guys talk about who you are and how you met. Tell us that. Okay, um, so we are from, well, I'm from Texas, and uh, Jabari had come to school in Texas and um, had met up with some mutual friends of mine, and they thought we might be a good match and set us up on a blind date, um, which did not go well initially. <laughs> 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 I thought, okay, this is, um, that was nice, but no. Um, however, uh, we met up the next day and had just some alone time with he and I and hit it off without the extra people. Or distractions. Or distractions, <laughs> yeah. So that's a story of how we met. Oh, he has a story of how you met? Oh, my oh. husband has a completely different story. Oh, yeah, you know what? He might, it might be different coming from him. No, that's, about, that's, that's pretty accurate. Okay. That's pretty <laughs> accurate. He agrees. So, so you guys, mutual friends, blind date. Mm -hmm. Had you ever been on a blind date before? No. No, not at all. So you guys were, it was a setup, but it was a good setup then. Yeah, turned so, out that way, yeah. So how long have you been married now? Ten years. Okay, 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 y'all over the hump. Y'all yeah. in the like flow it. now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you said literally over it the hump. feels like it, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, tell me, um, what made you seek out marriage counseling at, at that time, at the time that you did? <sighs> Do you want to take? Yeah. We were getting, we were having issues with communication and, and, and actually uh, effectively communicating how we actually felt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so um, over time, having uh, built up emotions and, and conflict and chaos mm -hmm. that you're internally dealing with, but you're not um, verbally communicating. Mm -hmm. But your mannerisms are communicating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your nonverbals oh, yeah. are communicating. <laughs> and so uh, just, I mean, being in a, a state of chaos for an extended period of time, you know, finally, I mean, finally brought Sam to reach out. Because uh, eh, to, to, to my discredit, <laughs> you know, I was okay dealing with myself. Right, right. Dealing with myself. Um, doesn't help her or right. or the whole right 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 and so you know she reached out and we got you guys we I know I know <laughs> right and I mean initially I was like who my husband told me hey you know Brady wants us to counsel this couple I'm like what couple and he goes you met them I'm like yeah. I did it's so funny <laughs> and he I was like oh okay 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 cool 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 but I love the fact that you admitted, hey, I, I was okay with dealing with me and my inward issues, but when you have another person involved, that, that can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were getting very good at trying to deal with it separately, and it was just creating a big wedge between us. Um, wow. Just a lot of empty open space where it was kind of he and I and not us, you know? You know, what you guys went through, I, I'm sure a lot of couples, I'm positive a lot of couples mm -hmm. go through that, but sometimes they don't seek counseling, they don't seek, seek the help to help them sort through those kind of right. things and those feelings and those emotions. Mm -hmm. And how did the counseling help you? I know we did, the first one we did was the flag page. Tell me about that, how did that help you guys? Oh gosh, <laughs> I could, yeah, the flag page was awesome. Um, initially, <laughs> I hope I can be detailed. Um, initially, we, you know, Brady set us up for counseling, and um, the flag page was the first step. And you were like, "Great, here's uh, this link. You guys pay this money and do this." And we're like, "Pay this money? We don't even know what this is about." You know, um, we did it, and you later explained why that was the case. Um, you wanted us to be invested in our, absolutely our like health and recovery uh, mm -hmm. together. So it makes all the sense now. But um, yeah, the flag page was awesome. It really, I think, was the biggest help in um, kind of beginning the healing is to wow. understand yourself mm -hmm. 
Like it's hard to have somebody to explain to someone that you love even um, what you need and what you're thinking, what you like and what you feel when you don't really understand that yourself wow. and your needs, you wow. know, how do I communicate needs? I, I don't know. All I know is I'm frustrated, you know, or right. I'm hurt, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so in identifying who, I remember you guys um, pushing this several times, this is who you are. Oh, yeah. So, in understanding who you are and who your spouse is. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so funny when you understand reasoning behind some of the things you think are weird. Finally, like, that's why, you know. Um, okay, you spend a lot of time, like, that don't make no sense. You don't make sense to me. And his country needs to make sense. And, and exactly. mine is not that way. It's more about peace. Like, let's just not argue. Um, but yeah, that the flag page was, uh, really caught our attention and we thought um like wow this is uh way more in depth than we ever thought this was going to become you know mm -hmm. kind of it, was, it was definitely eye-opening mm -hmm. um as, as much as i thought i had a handle on <laughs> what her issues were <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and and how to address them mm -hmm. i mean you know the the, the flag page definitely gave a solid foundation right as right. far as how to approach Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and how to listen mm -hmm. and, and right. where to be careful and where to, 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 to have grace and understanding. Definitely. I like what you said, grace and understanding. And I think that's something that's lacking in a lot of relationships. Mm -hmm. That they have, We have grace and understanding for people outside of our relationship, mm -hmm. but we don't have it for our spouse. Mm -hmm. And that's really who we should have it for first and foremost. Right. Yeah. Because we figure, oh, I live with them. They should know me. Right. But the truth is, you would think after seven or eight years, you know each other, but we all change. We all we evolved in who we really into who we are going to be, mm -hmm. and what may have been okay in year one, in year ten, dude, yeah. we're not doing oh, this. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and then you try he or she's trying to figure out well what what I've been doing it. What's wrong with that? I've grown up. Yeah, I've grown we up. We change. We mature. Uh, we have a family now. Like there's just the needs might change. Right. And, yeah. and I think people don't communicate that. And I think one of the biggest problems we've seen in relationship is the ability to communicate how you really feel without being coming off being um, offensive. Mm -hmm. it, I don't care. Some things I think you're going to be offensive, going to be offensive anyway, because they don't want you to say it. Right. And then they take it as you're taking a pot shot. Mm -hmm. them. No, that's not it. But I like the fact that you both said it helps you to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. And how many people you know, I mean, I know people, they don't understand themselves. Mm -hmm. And so here you have another person. I don't understand me and I got to understand you. We about to have some problems. And expecting me from you is just never, it's, it's, not, it's not happening. It's not happening <laughs> at all. And then when you put kids in the mix, you be like, oh. Mm -hmm. And added, yeah, added pressure. Um, Stresses. It's lovely, but it's stressful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And you know you, the thing is, you know you love the person and you know you want to make it work. Right. But knowing, not knowing how is the frustrating part. That's the frustrating part. Yeah. I agree. Jabari, what did you think about the flag page? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I liked it. Um, As far as what it showed showed me about me, I was kind of, I was pretty familiar with that. Mm -hmm. However, how how my country interacts with hers is mm -hmm. was was uh, enlightening, and so um, it makes it more tactical, right. purpose mm -hmm. more purposefully tact tactical mm -hmm. when I'm having to express how I feel mm -hmm. or when I when how how I come across. Right. As far as uh, in communication, mm -hmm. especially on important issues and topics. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, we, we've been talking about the flag page, but I wanted to I want you to tell everybody what countries you are from. Oh, I have to remember. I, I believe mine was peace. Yours was peace. And yeah. you have you, two countries. That was your home country. Yes. My home country is peace. Oh, my goodness. Do you remember your country, <laughs> Jabari? It was the opposite of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have refreshed on this. I forget the name of them. That's, it's all good. I should have brought your papers out because but I still have opposite, your papers. Yes. But the, the thing is that you guys grew from that. And it helped your relationship 
go to a next, another level. Totally, mm -hmm. yeah. And what, where you might have thought you had deal breakers, they were not deal breakers. Right. It, yeah, that's so funny how it, it <laughs> yeah, makes... That's almost exactly it. Like, yeah. Yeah, is, I don't know how long I can deal with that. I'm, yeah. I'm just sit here in silence. Yeah, I'll just not. And, and that's obviously not going to work. Yeah. But. but the beauty is, I know we've, we tell people when we counsel people, one day you're going to be doing this. You're going to be helping another couple. We really felt that when, when you said that to us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, you know, you can't tell somebody something that you have them walk through. Yeah, definitely. Some people say, well, you know, you should get a divorce. Ah, that's not an option. When I got in this, this was, I'm a lifer. Yeah. I am a lifer. I'm not doing this again. You know how long it took God <laughs> to, for him to find me? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 no. You likely have to go through this with a different person. You know what I mean? You just start another. Yeah. Exactly. But you, you know, I think it's investment. a beautiful thing when you can find the one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one. Yeah. And you can say, you know what? I'm off. I'm off. I'm out of the game because I found the one. Which doesn't mean that one is not going to make you crazy. Absolutely. Until you figure out, you know, um, understand yourself and, and better understand them to handle the conflicts that are going to come. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the offenses are going to be there. Oh, yeah. It's but you how, can't how take you it personal. How you communicate and deal with them. And you can't take it personal as an attack. Hmm. Yeah. That, that's, that's key. Because mm -hmm. when, you, when you're in a state of chaos and dysfunction, oh. everything is an attack. Oh, even yeah. when it's not even intentional mm -hmm. or, or you start to see peace as an attack. You know wow. the no, the normal the normalcy mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. of existing as an attack on on your existence. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's deep, right it there. It got intense. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep, boy. Wow. And we did another um, another um, tool that we used with you guys was the Simbus, saving my marriage before it starts. But even though you guys were already married, tell me how did that help you? It definitely opened up a lot of dialogue in some areas that we didn't normally communicate in. Mm -hmm. Not to say that we were having any issues there. We just weren't communicating yeah. about it. And so to actually get that out and, and talk about it, to, you know, gives an idea of where both of us fell mm -hmm. on certain issues mm -hmm. where right. we didn't have that information before. Mm -hmm. And it pretty much uh, uh, gave us a a more complete picture mm -hmm. of ourselves in the mm -hmm. machine. Yeah, a lot of the topics and conversation points that come up and questions that you have mm -hmm. to ask, um, you know, myself would feel like mm, that's an area where if we, if we tread, uh, we could no. possibly end up in an argument or something like mm -hmm. that. And having the, the foundation of of the flag page where we understand each other better. Mm -hmm. And now we're going into these conversations. We know he can give me grace on the things that he doesn't quite understand, but he knows how I am now. And right. The same when we can talk about things that I'm uncomfortable with and it's not very peaceful for me, but he, um, he can come to me and we can sit knowing the goal, the common objective here is getting to know one another better and we're, we're friends, you know, we're not each other's enemy. Right, so we're, right. We're just, we're just talking and we're just discovering more about each other. You know, I think that's interesting. So many times in relationship, for whatever reason, we begin to view our spouse as our enemy mm -hmm. and they're not our enemy. And it's because the enemy wants us to think that that person is your enemy mm -hmm. and that they're taking pot shots at you. And they're really not. They're really not. And when you have communication issues, because one thing, we women, women, we learn to communicate very early. And that's one of the things we do with our baby dolls. Mm -hmm. We talk to our friends. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we do. And right. then you got men, as my husband said, they got G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. <laughs> They're not really taught to communicate. Men are really taught to just provide for their families. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to be married to another person, you got to talk to them. And be vulnerable. Yes. The, yeah, the that's intimate, the, that's the, the biggest thing right there. Yeah, and that's really scary when you're not... When you're at odds and you're not, um, like you said, every, everything's offensive. I'm offended mm -hmm. and I'm offending you. You know, I feel offended and I'm acting offensive. Um, yeah, it's hard to do when you're at that. And, and it's hard when you, you know you have their heart, but then you don't know if you have their heart. 
right, I know you love me. I know we're probably not going anywhere, but are we, you know? Mm-hmm. Are we, right? are we good? Are we tight? Right, right. right. When, and you can answer that question like, no, we're not. Like, I know that. But nope. nobody's going anywhere. You know, it's, um, it can be so much more healthy and so much more fulfilling. I like that. When you are vulnerable and open and the other person sees that you're, that's where you're going and allows it and mm-hmm. doesn't confront it, just lets it be. Um, and the other person who's being vulnerable has to be open to discussion from that other person or questions or, mm-hmm. you know, to help them understand. It right. allows the communication to be free. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I like that. When right. you said being vulnerable, mm-hmm. I think a lot of times people are not like, are it's, not like that scary. in relationship. No, it's scary. You know, it's, you don't, you, if you're, if you feel guarded, that's just, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. If you've never been vulnerable before, it's true. It's a huge step. Oh, uh, yeah. A huge personal step. And so to, I mean, when, at the beginning, you feel like you're doing it for self. Mm-hmm. But, but, but you gain so much more from the, from the other person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so true. I mean, here I am at the threshold of being married for 33 years, and there are still things that we're learning about each other. Oh, that's awesome. So marriage, as my husband said, he says, your spouse is the full lift mirror that God gives you. I remember you guys saying that, and it's so true. Yeah. And sometimes we don't like what we see in the mirror. Exactly. <laughs> and as I was say, it's not going to be, it's not, you're not going to like what you see all the time. But who else is going to stand there through how ugly that can be mm-hmm. and how hard that can be? Absolutely. Who else would stand there through that and hold that up? And like, no, you need to look, you know? Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. no other um, person that'll be as vested in you as your spouse to, to go through so that with you. So true. One of the things I liked about the Simbas, I remember when we got married, that we said, oh, you know, we're not marrying our families, we're marrying each other. But that was such a wrong statement. Yeah. Because your family raised you. Right. So whether you like it or not, you marry their family. Mm -hmm. Because everybody that had a hand in your upbringing, you've gotten something from them. Yeah, people think uh, in dealing with them physically in their relationship, know who I am is... My family, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh. Mm. So true, though. Like, <laughs> so oh. true. I'm like, man, you mean I married your mama, your sister, your brother, and your daddy, too? But, yeah. Anything else you want to share? How, how did it help you? Oh Where gosh. are you at now in your relationship? You know, um, be lying to say that things don't come up. Um, but, you know, where something, I think, like you said recently, Something that could come up that would be catastrophic before, that we didn't mm-hmm. have the tools to handle mm-hmm. um, or patience with each other to handle, mm-hmm. would just be crushing and devastating. And right. it would feel like, again, you know, it's just like you have these um, little islands of okay happiness. And then it's just, we were at the point when we started where it, there was far few, fewer of those times than it was, of, you know, the big issues. I just think we weren't prepared to handle them. Mm-hmm. So now, you know, as you know, like dealing with anyone, um, including your spouse, <laughs> you know, that people are people and they'll, um, you know, annoy you the way they did this or why'd you say that? You know, small things that are going to ruffle your feathers. Oh, um, yeah. We just, they're just a, f- a feather ruffle these days. We, we're not falling apart. Yeah, know, situations that normally and it's normally small stuff Mm -hmm. but situations that would take us a week Mm -hmm. and some change maybe Mm -hmm. a week if we decide to talk about it (laughs) (laughs) two weeks once if we let it boil over right Mm -hmm. we we don't we don't do we don't have to do that anymore we don't even think to do that anymore that's awesome We, we we communicate it get it out you know understand where each other is coming from whether we disagree or not and we leave the negative at the floor leave it at the cross and we move forward wow and so it, like it's the most noticeable in how we deal with each other um, 
and then the trust in the vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Trust, yeah. trust in that. You know, if I'm vulnerable, if I'm gonna be vulnerable, you're gonna catch me, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you know, if it's not, if it doesn't resolve so quickly, um, but it it seems like it could, it could be left there. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job too of later on being like, you know, I'm not finished with that. Like, I, you know, mm -hmm. I something is bothering me further than that mm -hmm. and we t we can talk about it even then even if it's not That's squashed awesome. immediately if mm -hmm. if i um i can be quite um like in my head about like am i tripping no like yes yeah. so i can do that in my head for a while and um if i'm still tossing it around like that that means i need to speak with him about it again and so we can and it's not a big deal wow yeah so to give you an example just a comparison right okay um that situation, the way that would have been handled prior to our counseling with you, mm -hmm. um, she'll get frustrated and she want to talk about it when she feel like it. <laughs> and I want to talk about it right now. Get this, <laughs> get this figured out right now because it's just going to get snowball into a bigger issue. Mm -hmm. And we end up conflicting at the end on just that. Wow. Um, yeah. It would, wow. Get, it would get quite intermingled. What I really appreciate about you guys, that was a statement you made to me a while back, Jabari. You said, eventually we would have gotten here, but the counseling helped us to get here much quicker. Mm -hmm. And I would say that from what I can see on this side, that your relationship has grown so much. Oh yeah, and honestly, when, when we came, I, when I went to Brady, I was uh, just, the best I could do was just try not to fall apart crying, saying, we need some help. And he was like, oh, I'm not able to. I felt crushed, like, oh. And then he told us about you, and I'm like, oh, we don't know them. But it, it was just so perfect for us to have you guys. And just, y'all, when we come for counseling and, and we get help and it would be rough sometimes, we'd always leave, I think you can agree, thinking like, we love them. Like, they're just... They're so great together, and you both are so helpful. I love your team approach to the counseling. So nobody can say, oh, that's a man's perspective, or if it, that's just coming from a woman's point of view, it is a team, and which is what we're trying to cultivate here, is our team. Absolutely. And Seeing that 33-year example. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you guys have such different personalities too but i love seeing y'all's dynamic. playful dynamic mm -hmm. and um <laughs> yeah it, it's great it's have you guys watched our um YouTube our, becoming uh, one? yes youtube yes i have did y'all watch the last one i was trying to sing no. and he wouldn't let me sing <laughs> i think i did today he said that we're not doing that this time is that the one and I was, yes i was like really <laughs> You know, you're not gonna let me get that solo in there uh, the videos make me laugh too <laughs> just like i'm sitting here with y'all <laughs> No, but I am so glad that we have the opportunity to be a part uh, and walk with you guys. And that as, as a result of us walking alongside you guys, that you guys, uh, you got it now. We're, we're very thankful to you. I mean, thankful to God that you were put in our path because um, <laughs> there's just, you know, even... I don't even think it's worth it wondering where we would have been Yeah, going. I was just thinking, I'm we hearing... We weren't going to split apart, but just... <laughs> To, and for our to, children's sake, exactly. to see yes. us, mom and dad, love each other. And not just know they love each other, they can see it, they can feel it. And, mm -hmm. you know, we both grew up in households where that wasn't always the case. Wow. Um, in divorced homes. And so we can understand the effect mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it could have on a child. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just an even huger blessing to us is to know that our kids are seeing, you know, a better example than what we did. A healthy relationship yeah. between mom that's and dad. It. That's it. That's yeah. what it's all about. We're all about healthy relationships. Well, Sam and Jabari, I want to thank you guys for doing this interview with me. Of course. And um, if you're out there and you need marriage counseling, you can reach us at our website, um, povaurora.org. Or you can reach out on Instagram. We'd love to help couples. We'd like to see results like what God is doing in their life. Because we're all about marriage. God said, and the two shall become one. Amen. See you soon.